So let's take it in with uh, Professor Gunther Duck. When a flood is rising, build ships, not dikes. Take it away. All right, here we go. Welcome, Herr Duck. Hello. Uh, so this is from my room, lots of books here. So very classic. And uh, this is my room where I write my books and I I'm thinking all the day. I have lots of time now. Okay, build ships, not dikes. Uh, another good uh, title would be that most uh, companies now try to make a work around uh, uh, around digitization. They do not really dare to make really digitization, and there's a chance for a lot of startups doing something reasonable and uh, teaching big companies to build to 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 build ships. And uh, this is the topic. So it's, it's a bit, uh, I, I, I'm not giving some ideas, but I give uh, some clue why startups uh, have a big, big chance in, in, in the next future to help big companies to survive all these things. Uh, the theoretical things are, oh, I have to click here. Uh, Theoretically, the big companies now have a lot of work uh, to, to discuss ki kind of resilience. How, how do they prepare? And they, they feel threatened by the future. Not, not, they, they do not enjoy the, the view into the future, but they, they feel threatened. And so, so there are many management, top, uh, management meetings about how how can we be resilient or anti-fragile or something like that? The next thing is how, how can we resist the digitization and, and uh, pre prepare a, a kind of resistance and strategy uh, and, uh, and they prepare for a world which is again the same after Corona than before Corona. So this is not the real thing uh, we aim at. And I, I give you a, a kind of feeling what, what's going on in the world and there's a tremendous change in, in the world. You know that and I give some more deeper reasons for that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, people try to to talk about digital transformation. I hate this word. This is, I think this is invented by some controllers. They they I, I give you some some more uh, explanations for that. Digital transformation means that time after time the, the company just becomes a different one, and uh, they they do not un really understand what disruption means. That really that that the world really changes, not, not just from 1% uh, every quarter, but uh, the, the, that the world really changes. You, 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 you see the dying of, of banks, you see that the automobile um, companies have problems and so on. And, and the, the, this is not a transformation, but a disruption. And most of the companies do not understand that. that this is the problem. They, they want just to, to survive and this, this uh, is what I meant with building dikes. Okay, then the next thing is we have Corona. Um, it's not a big thing, but people now have a, a strange interest in digitization. So, so um, in earlier times they say, okay, we transform, we transform, we transform. And uh, because of Corona and COVID-19, uh, people are very interested, what, what is the world after Corona? And then please think about that. And then, then I, I'm telling them kind of topics in the next world and they're saying, we don't, we, we don't want that. So people say, go into the home office, please. And uh, then I say, the consequence of home office will be that the, the big, big office buildings in, in downtown are not really necessary. So this gives a big, big problem in, in, in the property area. And they say, no, we don't know. We don't want that. And they say, please look at the consequences of all these things and let's do that now for some moments. Um, what what they really do is to discuss who is the winner and the loser. So so uh, lots lots of articles who is who is winning by by uh, COVID nineteen and who is losing. So 
This is a good. This this is might, might be interesting, but but uh, we have to look into the future and and we have to shape the future. It's not not our task to this to discuss if we are losers or winners. So I, me personally, I'm loser in some kind because uh, I had a lot of contracts to speak on many 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 conferences and everything is was cancelled. So this is one of the rare conferences. Who, who uh, continue to be online, but most of the contracts just uh, have been cancelled. So, so I, I think everything is nearly everything was has been cancelled for until March, I think. So I'm I'm loser if you want. I, I wrote a book for two years on on, on the death of process uh, on dying companies, the dying and processes. And uh, I wrote two years on this book. Uh, it appeared on, in the mid of February, and no one is interested in that. So, so it's just two, two, two years enthusi enthusiastic work for nothing for, for the paper tray. So that's life. OK, I'm one of the losers. Uh, here is a list of the winners. Home office gaming, you know that. Fresh food brought to your home. Uh, uh, pharmacies, payment services, cloud services, security in home office, call centers, AI, online coaching, and so on, et cetera, et cetera. I, I'm, I'm working for, uh, I'm I'm investor in a company, the small startup is called Sharpist, and they try online coaching. This is, I think this became, the, will become a major part of learning of managers in, in big companies, not learning from their boss, but learning from external coaches. Okay, you, you know maybe, possibly all these things from, from, uh, from newspaper, tourism is losing, for business travel, property, self-employed work, services, etc., etc., art, culture, sports, everything is losing. So a better list I have prepared, these are, these are uh, the major indices uh, of the stock markets in Europe, in Germany, and in, uh, in the US. Have a, f you, you look, look at it. Uh, all the indices are more or less flat in the last um, year, so there's minus 1%, plus 3%, minus 2%. And there's only one index different. This is the NASDAQ 100 index. This is up 31%. This is, this is, this is uh, last week, maybe it's now 32, 33, or 30%. Doesn't matter. Uh, what you see from this curve is that technology is rising. The all-star rising uh, theme of our time. So, so uh, all the all the technical startups in the technical area or the internet area or the online area are rising. Everything other is flat. So this is the answer of the investors in Wall Street. So so if you are working in this field, you have all the chances. Okay, what people are really doing? So uh, in many many branches is uh, like uh, the wood, the, the the trees are dying, and then they say please. Our pines are dying in, in Germany. We have this. This is a picture of Germany in some way. We have, uh, we have uh, very, very dry weather since years. We have not enough water in Germany. We, we, have, we, are, we have been used to have water, plenty of water all the time, raining all the time. Everything was fine, and now the pines are dying. And uh, a good um, advice would be to, uh, to cut them down and try with acacias. And these people say, no, we cannot do this because we are, we are losing for 50 years. This is the problem. So uh, this, the people uh, say, what, what can I do to, to, have, uh, to, to, um, to comply or to, with, with a real disruption? And they have no clue. And if, if I'm giving that uh, kind of advice, they say, we don't need that. Do you have any idea for the next quarter? And this is the problem. And uh, all the startups now coming, giving kind of acacia solution, which is feasible for some of the companies, they will win. And if you try to build dikes in, in, in uh, means here to, to um, grow pines, then you will lose. So the, the traditional business will lose, and you have to invent something different. Um, maybe you have heard from Daimler. This is from Germany. Just I. I 
uh, for documentation. They said uh, they will re they they will concentrate on the luxury line of their cars, and luxury cars of Daimler means. Uh, this is kind of core, 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 core competence. They have the core competence to build diesel or uh, cars or some something, maybe cars. And the core business is luxury cars, and they want to have the higher end luxury because they say we concentrate on our core, 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 core business because uh, we are still making money in this core, core, core business. And I think this is building dikes. This is a better, ex the good example for that. Uh, on the next slide, you see um, the boss, uh, Markus Duisman of uh, Audi. There's a long article in, in, in the Süddeutsche Zeitung from Munich paper, and he explained that he now has understood what the problem of Tesla is. And Tesla, Tesla made automobile production different. Uh, this is... This is um, known for a long time, but now the bosses are understanding that. And Tesla made the following approach. Uh, they first build the software, the, the, maybe the operating system of the car, and then they buy only parts for, the, for building the, uh, the actual cars, which are, which, fit, which are fitting plug and play into the operating system. So you make first the first software, and then you, you build the parts in it who, who fit to the software. Uh, the, 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 old, the, the, the older uh, automobile producers, they tried it for, 10, for 100 years in a different way. They, they just built the parts and set, to put them together. And uh, after, after maybe since 20 or 30 years, they tried to make some digitization of the cars, but then it kind, it's kind of spaghetti code. And they, they try for every item, they try to, to, to make a new software for that. And then they have a comp uh, the, the, the complexities growing and growing and growing, and then they are collapsing because of the complexity of the software. You can see that also in, in building planes. And now Duisman said in this article, oh, I have, uh, I think I have to hire 2,000, 3,000 IT specialists uh, converting, ma making a new strategy. And for a car factory, this is kind of uh, building acacias instead of pines. This is a really, really revolution. And this is the basic problem of the car uh, industry. Um, the following... Um, I'm really mad to look at the next slide. This is quarterly revenue of a, a, a Amazon Web Services. I was cloud manager. Three years when, uh, until I left, I left IBM to be a keynote speaker and, and writer and something. And becoming old, of course. Um, and I, I warned them all the time. I, I was in IBM and I said, please, please acknowledge that Amazon Web Services has a true, true business model. This is the startup which, which could kill us. And I said, please, please be aware. And they said, no, Amazon, it's, it, it's just a small daughter uh, company of, of um, Amazon. And um, this is... This, this is not a real business. So they want to, like, shop, uh, like Dropbox, they, they give you one gigabyte storage for maybe two cents per month. And how many cents do you want to gather to have a real billion dollar business like IBM likes? And uh, so this is the curve of Amazon Web Services. And this is, this is a good picture how big companies... Uh, Look at startups, so they 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 laugh uh, at them because this this is not the business. So still, in in the end, uh, in the beginning of the curve, in the first quarter, Amazon Web Service had one billion revenue. So it's it, it, compared with IBM, this is nearly nothing because they have one hundred billion business. And so the, you see, one billion in in the year two thousand seven when they started, they had fifty million million, not billion, million dollars. And uh, they needed maybe eight, eight, 
seven, eight years to, to have the first billion and a quarter revenue. And then the revenue um, increased, 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 increased. And as you see, the curve gives you the impression of the last six years. And it's increasing by 30 until 40, mostly 37% all the, all the way. And uh, uh, next year, um, maybe Amazon Web Services will have $50 billion business with $12 billion profit. And in three years, they will be larger than IBM. And I, 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 I sitting here, and they, they, they should have heard or listened to me. Okay, this is the curve. The problem is that Amazon Web Services still has a margin of 30%. Uh, for a big, big company, this is not enough. They should have a margin of 50%. And still, if you would tell, to, tell them, please, this is a true business, and they say, well, this is just 30%. Uh, we, we are interested in 50%. This is the discussion. And uh, therefore, if you are running a startup, be quiet. They, they do not come into your uh, turf. They, they, they just keep away because you have a margin less than 50% and I don't like that. Okay, I give you a um, kind of feeling what big organizations do with, when, when they should uh, try something new. Uh, I, I listed uh, seven phases of our organization organizational life. First, you know, idea, a dream. Many of you are in, in, in the foundation phase and exploration phase. And then uh, I, 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 have a, I have an English book about that. Uh, thir uh, the third phase is called in this book, Getting Started. Uh, uh, the, uh, the German translation is much, much better. This is called Organisierung. We, we, have, we have two words, Organisierung and Organisation. Organisierung uh, means that you are in the phase making an, an, uh, making, uh, an organization. So, so you, you look for the best processes, you look for how to manage the processes, you look how to manage the people, uh, which management system you have. You are trying, trying, trying. You, are, you try to have good processes and good relations to the customers. So you are in, 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 in you step by step, you are organizing your companies and you learn all the time. This is in, if you are if you are ready, then after years, then you have an organization. You have an organization with fixed rules, many many processes, and many many clerks, uh, looking and guardians looking for the, the correct running of the processes. And the, the problem is that uh, big companies cannot understand basically that they should go to phase three again and to try to set up very, very new processes and to think about and to, to, um, to try with try and error, which are the best processes for the future. And they try to solve every pro problem with their organization. And uh, this is the best method to uh, approach your death. Okay. Um, Okay, um, for German speakers, if, if someone are here, so uh, please keep in mind that the difference with, between Organisierung, this means that the process of our, to go to the organization and then the, the, the state of the fixed and ready organization. This is very much different and is not understood by big companies. That This is their death. Uh, Last two slides on an ancient philosophy. Platon said that uh, you have four different ways of thinking. The first one, the, the, uh, the side of the philosopher is insight and understanding and intuition for the true nature of things. Uh, the second stage is analyzing facts and numbers. Um, in, in some sense, you, if, you, if you run a startup, you should feel free to, to, to think in the, in the most upper way of thinking in insight and understanding of the future. And uh, the big companies cannot do this really because uh, they have a lot of analysts. So they are going through numbers and making statistics. 
And if we are going through the corona world, then statistics makes no sense because statistics and analyzing makes sense if you have a steady world and if the data of the past have something to say about the future and you can make forecasts of the future. But if you have an unknown land, so like a corona land, uh, then uh, it does not have a big sense to, 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 to analyze. So you have really to to think, and uh, this is the, uh, the chance of startups. They can think and the big companies, they analyze. Um, the third stage is to have an opinion. You, you, you see that, that people have an opinion to, of Corona. And they, they read a lot of newspapers and they, they usually look, people have opinions based of own experience. So if people don't see anyone who has corona, they have an opinion somewhere. And you have just opinion, opinion, opinion. And if you, uh, uh, the, the problem is that these people cannot do anything in, 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 um, in shaping the world because, because they, have, they need own experience to make the future. They cannot have a vision, so this is the problem. And uh, please keep in mind that uh, as a startup, you should be on the upper stage of thinking, insight, and understanding. Last slide. Uh, the, the upper world is shipped to the digital world. world. Uh, analyzing makes uh, resist in your own property. And the normal people say uh, there is no need for such big change. I do not see the value yet. Also if, if you if you talk about autonomous cars or something like uh, uh, green energy, then they say there is no need, and so on. The, the last people, the fourth stage is just everything. Every these people are crazy. Tesla is crazy. Amazon is crazy. Someone is crazy. And think if we are. I'm talking now about uh, on Zoom software, if, if you look at the share price of Zoom, this is a real startup. Um, uh, it, within months, they become more worthful in the capital market than IBM. So I'm a little bit sad about that because I, I still get a pension from IBM and I'm a, bit, a, a little bit mad. If I see that, uh, that the companies like Zoom are shooting up and many many startups are shooting up i'm i'm engaged in three uh, one and i see that young people become millionaire in in five six seven years and other companies don't get it okay this is my book uh, if you want to uh, uh, have a look in the in the corporate world uh, then and you are ready for german then Look into this book. Uh, there's a there's a symbol in the on the cover. This is from good to better to bullshit. And I think uh, they the bullshit is coming that people are building dikes, 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 and uh, what was better at some time is now bullshit. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. All right. Thank you very much, uh, the Professor Doctor. Um Dirk, uh, a few uh, key observations. Um, as you see, uh, you have your own experience uh, with IBM. IBM is also, also known as an elephant who has learned to dance. Hey, it's still uh, running uh, pretty pretty well, already 120 years. Hey? So you see transformation, hey? your organization's life cycle. We see that multiple yeah. times. Same thing for Apple. Don't you think that's a beautiful thing that all these companies are also then reinventing themselves? Uh, the, the problem is a little bit deeper. So, so if you just look at IBM, so if you have big contracts and the most powerful people in the company are the sales reps. And in IBM, they said, if you want to make a career, please start in sales. And if you are a veteran in sales, you can, you can become vice president. But in Amazon Web Services, this is still computers. It looks like the same. It's computer, one is computer, others is computers, but they do not need uh, the sales organization. And so the power is shifting in a company. And uh, this is a good example that you have not uh, just reinventing your product line for the future, but you have to reinvent uh, the management structure, you, you have to do shift power, <laughs> uh, concrete, 
uh, and this is maybe the harder part. So it's not not the product line. So uh, most most people uh, talk about uh, you should have better products, but if you have better products, then, then you have maybe uh, different services. So so you you have to, uh, you see the line between. Uh, buying and uh, building and selling computers, then you sell software, then you sell service, then you have managed services, and then you have just uh, uh, IT from v uh, from v for w yeah, from just from the air, and this means that the company has to shift from selling things to to just offering services in the internet. And this is the major problem in the people. It's not the problem in, in the product. I totally, uh, totally agree. You just mentioned Zoom as an example of a company that, of course, due to Corona, skyrocketed. Uh, don't you think that that's the uh, startup ecosystem working as it should, or do you think that it's too fast? Uh, the, uh, that the valuation is too fast. Uh. Yeah, or or their growth. Hey, you you said that it was uh, that it was a, a bit crazy uh, to see how successful Zoom was in such a short time. Uh, this is just this, just an example. So so of course they have competitors. This is uh, team uh, teams from from Microsoft. Uh, many people prefer that because they have not to pay, and uh, their Slack. Uh, a very good al alternative, but they are in danger to 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 become. Uh, eroded between the, these two. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it's just an example. So, so uh, I, I see many, many, many companies coming in the, at the NASDAQ. For, for instance, I have, I have uh, shares in Lemonade. This is an online insurance. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, the, uh, they, they, they say we can, we can save all the people looking at if, if it has a damage. They make a lot of photographs and uh, uh, referees coming judge about uh, what, what, what the real damage is and how many dollars do you get. And they try it just with some photos and uh, artificial intelligence to make an estimate. And then you get paid for the damage uh, for, for your claim within maybe one second. Just the computer says... You get three thousand dollars, and you get it. So, and there are lots of uh, such uh, in very interesting startups in America, and uh, we can learn of a lot of that. And I maybe in the startup company now now today and in in, in in this conference, we are looking on all these ideas, and uh, the big companies don't do that. Yeah. I, I I often said, if you want advice as a, a consultant. Uh, do not give presentation on the status in, in the company, but give 100 managers in your big company the task, look for one startup in, in, at the NASDAQ and give a presentation of that. And the, uh, all people should watch three presentations per week of those things and uh, discuss that. They, 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 do, they are not open because they look at the dikes and not at, on the sea. This is the problem. Thank you very much. I think that's a golden advice uh, to have uh, indeed leadership for uh, all kinds of companies to look outside what's already happening in the startup world and in uh, new companies coming up. Professor Duke, thank you a lot for your time and uh, looking forward to meeting you again.